Last, last year was the deadliest year for heat stroke related deaths with a total of 52 nationwide. So far this year in Tennessee, there have been three deaths already. The most recent happened just last week in North Knoxville. Police have yet to release any new information about that case, but Knoxville police say officers are still investigating it. And 10 News reporter Amelia Young spoke with experts today and is here to explain just how hot it can get in your car. John, Beth, experts say people don't realize just how hot a car can get in 15 or 25 minutes. So today, during some of the hottest weather of the season, East Tennessee Children's Hospital experts set up a demonstration to show people the dangers of the summer sun. It can happen to absolutely anyone. Since 1998, 38 kids on average have died in hot cars every year nationwide. It's just people outside of their routine and people who are distracted. Injury prevention coordinator Alexis Kaiser Yan says technology could be to blame. They started happening when we started having cell phones and emails and everything with us all the time. To visually show people just how hot cars can get, she travels around the community with the only heat display of its kind in Tennessee. And it shows you the display outside, shows you the temperature outside, and there's a display that shows you the temperature inside a car. At its hottest, the white SUV got up to 139 degrees within 25 minutes. Kids bodies absorb heat faster than ours, so their temperature is going to raise three to four times faster than you or I as an adult. Kaiser Yawn says a child's body starts shutting down at 104 degrees, so in less than a minute the temperature can rise to deadly levels. And even with overcast, heat still severely impacts the temperature. Just minutes before the rain came through today, the temperature inside was 130 degrees. I get all the time, how can someone forget their child? Because they're not used to taking the child where they're going. Changes in routine are another big factor. Kaiser Jan recommends putting a phone, purse, or another item you can't leave the car without in the back if you're outside your regular schedule. And organizations like Safe Kids National are working to pass a law that will make it mandatory for cars to have sensor technology in them by the year 2022. John, Beth. All right, thank you.